Hi everybody, this is Panina Taylor and I'm just really excited to share with you about this new one day full day personal growth workshop that I've put together called Intentionally Me. So one of the things that, um, that I teach that I think is really, really important because people do not realize when we go through life, you know, we interact with people, we try to connect with people. And sometimes we find that people react to us in a way that just totally baffles us. And we're like, what am I wearing a sign on my back that says, you know, <laughs> kick me or abuse me or, or whatever, what's going on? And we can't figure out why they are reacting with us that way. And certainly we can't figure out how to change that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to change that. And the, the two concepts that are key here is what one is called resonance and the other is called broadcasting. So the interesting thing about resonance is people don't realize that we live in a world that is consistently and constantly in motion. Every piece, every atom, you know, I'm sitting at a desk here, right? And I think this desk is solid. It's not animated. It's not in motion. It's totally still. And the thing is, is that that's not true. It is absolutely in motion because if we were able to take a really super powerful microscope and look down deep into the, you know, to the very tiniest parts, the molecules that make up this, this desk, we would discover that, that those molecules are in motion. And so even what seems solid to us is actually not. It's moving, it's in motion. And the whole world we live in is in motion. Now, we understand that very well when we talk about light waves and sound waves, but we don't, what we don't think about is the fact that we also put out waves. We also have an energy and science has actually been able to measure this to some degree. For the longest time, you know, all of the people that everybody thought were a little bit weird would be talking about auras and stuff like that, right? Now that's, that's all for the weirdos, but, but they've done scientific studies that we actually do put off an energy. And so if you take a guitar and you put it in, the, in one corner of a room, and you take another guitar and you put it on the opposite corner of that room and you strike one of the strings. You have to do it loudly enough if they're far apart, but even if you had them close together, let's say, you strike the string, let's say the low E string on the guitar, the E string on the other guitar will begin to vibrate. Not as loud, but it will vibrate on the same frequency that the first guitar is vibrating on. And that is because of something that we call resonance. And we've talked about this, you know, even in casual conversation, people talk about resonance, right? I resonated with that. You know, you said this, Azriela, and I resonated with it. It's, it touched me in a very deep place inside. What we don't realize is that everybody that we come in contact with, and actually everything as well, but everybody that we come in contact with resonates with the frequency that we are putting out. So when we put out, when we live on a frequency that is saying I'm a victim or I'm worthless or um, abuse me, right? All of these different things without even realizing it because it's all, it's all up in the, the ultraviolet, if you will, in the, in the sphere where we can't see it, but they will respond to us on that. So if we put out I'm a victim, people will subconsciously see us as a victim and treat us like a victim, right? So that's what we're going to work on right here, right now, today, because we are putting out this energy. It's something that I call broadcasting. If you will, we are like a um, two-way radio. If you've ever seen, now, and now we're talking old school, right? I don't even know if people today even know what a, a, a broadcast, a two-way radio is. But um, a two-way radio is a radio, it's a device that broadcasts whatever you say into it. Um, it broadcasts it on a certain frequency. And anybody who has a radio turned to that frequency will receive whatever it is that you said. Um, maybe you've seen CB right? You remember the truckers talk on these CBs? Well, 
people can also, it's called Citizen Band Radio. People, back when I was a kid, people would buy these and they would have them in their car and they would communicate with other cars and other people. And they would tell people, hey, you know, I'm going to be on whatever this frequency is, turn into it and we can talk while we're, you know, while we're driving. And everything responds to what we're putting out there. The problem is, is that we don't even know what we're putting out. We don't even know, most of us, that we have a tuner that can actually change the frequency that we are broadcasting on. And so unfortunately, you know, when we're children, we encounter an event that causes us to think a certain way about ourselves. And again, most of this is very subconscious. We don't even realize we're doing it. But what happened was when that person did whatever they did to us or that event because maybe it's not even a person. It could be some other thing, event that changed you, the way you think about yourself. I mean, falling off a bike can do it. Um, what happens is, is that because that event w triggered something inside of you, it caused your radio to broadcast on a very specific frequency. And so you've been walking around your whole life broadcasting on a frequency, not even realizing that you're broadcasting, not even realizing that there's such a thing as a frequency, and not even realizing that you can control what it says. And you have no idea what it is you're broadcasting most of the time, unless you take control and intentionally change the frequency that you're broadcasting. So somebody, God forbid, was abused in some way, the person who abused them, basically, it's like, you know, if you had one of these radios with a tuner and you hit it, right, it might jump, it might change the frequency. And that's what happens. We get hit by something from life, our frequency changes, and we're broadcasting now on this frequency that maybe says, I'm, I'm abused, I'm a victim, I'm sick, I'm a klutz, I'm whatever, all of the different, how many times do people do something that they, you know, was a mistake, and then they say in their head, right, our voice in our head says, oh, I'm such an idiot, right? I know lots of people use, have those voices in their head that say these things, and those are coming from the frequency that we're broadcasting on. So if you want to know what frequency you're broadcasting, that would be a, a clue. But anyway, so what happens is, is that we encounter an event or a person or something that happens in our lives that shifts the frequency that we're broadcasting on. And everybody that comes in contact with us in our lives, without even realizing it, gets that, resonates with it, and then responds to us on the same frequency. Because that's the thing about broadcasting is when you're on a two-way radio, you can only broadcast and receive on the frequency that the radio is set to. You, if you're set to 98 FM or whatever, you can't, you, you're broadcasting on 98, but you're also receiving on 98. You can't hear what's going on on 108 or 107. We can change it. Yeah, totally, totally. And all it takes is, first of all, being aware that you are broadcasting something and then setting your intention to broadcast something different. And the way that we do that is through our words, because Judaism teaches that our words are very powerful. God created the world through words, right? And we create reality through our words. In fact, in the Bible, we're even told that as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. And what is thought right? Speech is an outward speaking. Thought is an internal thing, is speaking. And so what we have to do is we have to, first of all, decide what it is that we want to broadcast to the world. Now, it may be something as simple as I am victorious, but usually what we really want is to broadcast to the world, I am capable, I am worthy of love. All of the things that broadcasting victim, right, stole from us. So probably would it be a good idea, even as you're listening to this right now, think about what message it is that you want the world to see you, that you want the world to respond to you on. I'm a capable, confident woman. For me, the events that happened in my childhood stole my voice. So in addition to running around free broadcasting on the frequency that I was abused and I was a victim, I was also, I had no voice. And so one of the things that I had to learn how to broadcast on was that I have a voice. 
I have something mm. to say right now. And even if you have to pause this video and stop and think about what is the message that you want to put into this world and that probably is not what you're getting right now that you want to broadcast into the world. And then you start doing that. You create affirmations, you speak it into reality and you think it into your internal reality. And you will suddenly, if you make this a practice, a daily practice, you will find that people will begin to change how they respond to you. I did it to my, for myself and it changed my entire life. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you. And um, just to keep in mind also that we're doing this because we want to make a difference in people's lives. We want to help you to be able to live the life that God created you to live. And because the world needs your gift. The world needs you. That's why God created you in the first place, right? At the end of mm. the Ani, what does it say? Right? He's returned my soul to me in compassion. Great is your faith in me. God gave us another day because he has the faith in us to do what it is that he created us to do in this world. He determined that the world needed us yes, and the gifts that we have to give. So if you want to get in touch, you can email me at info at paninataylor.com. All right. Be well.